Okay. Back. Once again with... By myself this time, actually. I haven't done a solo video in a... Probably about a week or two. I don't remember how long it's been, but, um... Feels like it's been forever since I did a solo video, and, um... You guys seem to be enjoying these gauntlet teams, so I'm gonna keep it going. I decided to make up a new... Not make a new team. I decided to look deep and, uh... Realize, well, I could also do teams like these. The Five Tiger Generals. How funny, because... You have five characters, and so I was like, oh, I could do this, and then I could do, like, the five generals for Wei, and then I don't know if they did one for Wu, but if they did, I'll do it. So I thought this was actually a perfect team right here. So, not all of them are really that good. The really best one on my team is going to be Zhao Yun, obviously, because he's fully uh, promoted and all that, but I at least have everyone to 100. I have all five-star weapons, some Mystic. I think the only, yeah, the only one who doesn't have a Mystic is Huang Zhong, because I don't play as him. But, yeah, they're all pretty, they're all pretty okay, so this should probably work out. If not, we're gonna, we're just gonna hope and pray about, how about that? So I'll top in. And, uh, I decided to do it because, literally, Dynasty, or Dynasty, Warriors Orochi 4 is literally just one month, okay, okay. At least for North America, it's one month away. If you're, like, in Japan and all that, it's going to be this month, in September. But we're going to get ours, I think, on October 16th. So, we're getting closer and closer to the date. So, time to do some more videos and knock it out. My my strongest person is already about to, about to meet his demise. See, so yeah, everyone's not going to be strong. I, re I really kind of wanted to do Machao. Like, level him up. Because... Not the strongest of guys right now, but he's one of my favorites to play as, but I just... At least in 3. I don't know why. When uh, Ultimate came around the corner, I just wasn't playing as him. The other characters, I don't really care much about. Huang Zhong, definitely, I don't really care much about. Uh, Zhang Fei, never really was a big fan of him. Guan Yu, I actually found pretty fun, but... I just haven't played as him in a bit. When I, um, when I first saw his new... Well, not... Yeah, I, guess, I think... I don't know if they introduced it. I don't know which came out first. If it was Warriors Orochi 3 or um, Dynasty Warriors 8. But when they introduced this new moveset, I was actually pretty intrigued by it. And I actually kind of liked it. So, maybe going to do some Guan Yu action, maybe. I, just, I tried to do some just a minute ago, but it didn't work out. You're probably going to be seeing less of Zhang Fei and um, Wong Zhang, though. I'll try to put them in here, if I think about it. I'm going to be seeing some Machao and Zhao Yun action, though. For sure. Actually, I'll play as my boy right now. Get him out of the way. So I know I'm going to have the urge. I'll probably be playing as him more, because he's probably going to be my trump card. Even though my trump card's about to die already. Even all buffed up. So these are on the harder stages. The other stages I did were... Um, I think they were right dungeons, because my friend who did the other videos with me... In gauntlet mode he doesn't really have the harder missions yet so that's why it seemed easier but now I got to be more cautious got to be more got to be more uh, careful with everything please stop I just see officers and they weren't even swinging at me yet and I'm just like please don't like these 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 all these other stages are pretty pretty uh, pretty challenging did I get that oh no I didn't Oh, there goes Guan Yu. God of War no more. It feels so good to be doing these videos again. Um, I don't know why, I just took like a small break after I did all those videos with the crew. So I just decided, you know what, I got a decent amount. I'll relax. I still have a couple to take to have out, but... Decided to just take a small break. And uh, now I'm back, I feel more refreshed. I'm going to try to at least do one or two videos. I don't have a lot of time on my hands because work-related stuff. So I'll try to at least do this video. Hopefully, it'll be a decent length video. I probably should just try to find the escape point and then just go from there. Or I could just do it the classic way and just look for all of them. Please stop. But yeah, I think I think Zhao Yun has made the most appearances so far. And, uh, oh, voice crack. And Gauntlet Mode videos. Surprise, surprise. 
he's one of my strongest in, in here, so it's really not that shocking. I think my strongest... I hate that. I think one of my strongest are... Zhao Yun, obviously. Kunoichi. Orochi X. There's someone else. I can't remember off the top of my head. Because it's been a decent minute since I've played it. Because I did... I think I recorded those videos like two weeks ago. So, my knowledge is like out the window right now. Please! And I've been pretty deep in uh, recently in some in some good Spider-Man action. Because that, that game has been... Whew, it's been pretty fun. The combat I'm still trying to get it slightly used to. It's pretty much like a Batman kind of thing, which I was good at in Batman, but for some reason, I don't know, it just feels a little off in Spider-Man. But I, all in all, I, I love that game to death. By the way, the um, the suit you get from Black Cat, it's definitely my favorite so far. That suit just looks so cool. I've been using that most of the time. I'll probably just start over, because I, I think I want to do live streams of that. I don't want to do anything that's going to do like videos, I, I'll, like I'll back and forth, back and forth videos of Spider-Man. I'd rather just do like live stream. That's something I want to do. That's So that's going to be on my live stream list, along with Persona. And what was another one? I think if I'm ever going to do like Dynasty Warriors 9, it's not going to be a video. So it's just going to be live streaming it. And then I want to do live streams. I want to do live streams more often. Whether that's going to be on YouTube or Twitch, I'm not really sure. I enjoy doing it. Yo, what the? Get out of here. I'm the only Zhao Yun that belongs here. I got the wrong person. And there's a there's an imposter Zhang Fei too. All right, so I gotta kill. Okay, all right. I'll, this this is where I'll play as a uh, Zhang Fei. I'll try to take out the imposter here. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have the grab one in this game. Unless that's a right bumper. I'm gonna see if it's a right bumper. Oh, I just yelled and stomped. I had a temper tantrum. Pretty handy. Who's doing stuff? Duh. I don't even know what any of Wong Zhong's stuff is. I got like, like I said, I got him leveled up and everything. All right, that was. Pretty... Oh, that thing! I back in three when I first unlocked it, I was like, "That's really cool. I'm gonna keep doing that," because it reminds me of his, Dyn or yeah, Dynasty Warriors five one where he just like, does like a flip in the air while shooting at the ground. I always like spam that because it was so funny to me. It was, well, more fun than funny, but I just found it both humorous and enjoyable. But here you go, here's your Hong Zhong action for those of you who like those uh, veterans, veteran warriors out there. Gotta do it. Yes. And this one's better than the Dynasty Warriors 5 one. I think it was Dynasty Warriors 5. Haven't played that in a good minute. I'd love to play that again. Definitely one of the best Dynasty Warriors by far. I'm trying to think of what other ones I've really enjoyed. I think I enjoyed... I, enjoy, I know for a fact, because I preach it almost every time I bring this up, Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends I loved to death. Played it so much. I wish I still had it. I actually, uh... Well, the thing was, I never, at the time, because I was just a little boy, and this could be very, um... What's the word I'm looking for here? I'm doing this stuff on the fly. I'm not using any scripts, so I don't know what... I'm forgetting words. People can relate. That's the word. Jeez. Um, like, when you're a kid, you don't have the money, you can't do anything. So what I did, and this is going to show, it's not going to show how old I am, I'm like, I'm 22. But, um, it's going to show that 90s kid age, uh, where I had, where I ended up going to Hollywood Video. I don't know if that was around in many, in a lot of places, but I ended up renting it so many times from Hollywood Video, because it was like, I think it was $7 for 7 days or something like that. I can't remember the price. Because that, 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 that's been gone for a long time. But man, did I have great memories. I love that store. Now it's a now that the building is a mattress store. A little mattress store. So dumb. But uh, but anyway. I ended up getting that almost every time. And then at times, for Hollywood Video, if you returned it early, at least... I don't know if that worked for every Hollywood Video, or they just did it because I was like... I was a, re I was a person who came up there like so many times. But if you returned the game early, you would like... 
get extended time on the next game you did and keep going then after then after then the funny part was i probably didn't have to return that that video game because like they came to the point where like you could practically just keep it at this point but i don't know why the good kid in me or it was my parents but i think it was the good kid in me they were just like i need to bring this back so i ended up bringing it back and then like i think a few years later they ended up leaving i was like oh hollywood video was like the place at the time i loved it to death they always had it for rent but they never had it to like purchase for some reason which kind of upset me the three extreme legends was my game back in the day what's your jump right bumper oh you just do some slashes my trump card's dead Oh, you know what this means. I can't do it because he's dead! That's right, you need a whole bar to, do the, to use the getaway. Yo, I like the... Well, I guess Dragon Blade. Whatever. What is What is this called? Mystic Crescent. There we go. Yeah, I like this moveset of Guan Yu's. It's probably my favorite uh, ever. His... Uh, I'm trying to think because he had the same move set for a long time. The only the only time it ended up changing was during six because everyone had a overall of move of moves and weapon changes. But um, I think funny enough, six was one of my favorites, and now an eight is my favorite. I don't know why. It just feels like you were very stationary when you were using his like older movesets from like god when did he debut was it in two yeah i think in two i don't even know if he debuted in the first game but we don't really mention that game much not saying it's bad but it wasn't this kind of game because dynasty warriors was just a fighting game at first but now it's like this this masterpiece but yeah and his, his old ones from i'll just say from two through five his it's pretty much just a stationary like he didn't move much and this one you can like you get some movement going now. You're, like, starting to move up more and more slowly. But, I don't know. I just wasn't the biggest... I liked Guan Yu back in those days, but I wasn't a huge fan of him. But now I love him. I love Guan Yu. Oh, alright. Uh, I'll try to branch out the map a little bit. But like I, and like I said, you're probably not going to get a lot of Zhang Fei and Huang Zhong unless I absolutely need them. Like, if they're the last ones alive, then you're going to get some action out of them. But until then... Or if there's an imposter, because that's when I used... Uh... Who did that? Oh, I thought someone used the barrier technique. I was like, oh, no, that's bad. But it was just Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun's Muso is very much like the barrier. Uh, chest. I want the chest. I got the chest. All right. But yeah, I want to knock out Gauntlet mode. I like I I've never I still haven't completely beaten it yet, but I want to at least get through every state every uh, gem colored stage before the, the next game comes out. I'll probably just cheese through it and use Getaway a lot. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep them all with me. I'm trying not to get in too much combat because I'm gonna get rinsed around this because they're at 66 right now. And like I said, the only really strong one on this team. I mean, Guan Yu's doing pretty good. Whoa, Run Maru! The only one who's super strong is my fully promoted uh, Zhao Yun. Ah, stop. Guan Yu, of course, because he's just a hard hitter in general. So it's probably. I. Zhang Fei's probably stronger than Ma Chao, so I feel like Huang Zhang's probably the weakest one, and then Ma Chao, Zhang Fei. Then again, I don't know. I think I put some stuff on Ma Chao's weapon. I don't remember. I know I could look, but I don't want to keep pausing the game. I don't even need to be going for all these portals. I could probably be going for the chest, but that'll take forever, and then that's going to be a really long video. And I don't know. I'd like to do at least one more before I uh, hang it up for the day. Cause the last one I did was um, Haro in a raid. On uh, Dynasty Warriors, eight empires. I'm still really like wondering, like what, um, 
if they ever end up doing it, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. Because even though Dynasty Warriors 9 was... Mediocre at best. I found it okay. I found it pretty fun at times. I'm not going to just completely crap on the game. It had its fun moments. It wasn't the best in, in the ins installments, but... It was an okay game at, at, at best. I'll say it was okay. But... For some reason, the Empires just usually do better, in my opinion. Like, I actually love Empires more th than I do most of the other series. I guess because, at least in 8 Empires, which is still probably one of my favorite Dynasty Warriors right now. It's up there in the top 5. But, like, the amount of people you could make the, and stuff like that, like, th it gave me so much, like, inspiration for, like, making characters and actually legitimately making a story that I'm, that I'm typing up right now and I'm loving it so far. Like, this game helped me get a lot of inspiration out. And... I feel like if they do... Oh no, it's part of- it's the Gyuki Squad! Oh no, I don't have- oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait! Yeah, there we go. Now they're weak. Now I can take out the Gyuki Squad. We always gotta take out the Gyuki Squad. I wish I could make Gyuki look like that, but I don't really know how they- how well they did that. But I love how Gyuki looks in that. Alright, the Gyuki Squad has been taken out. Oh, I somehow got dot. I didn't even realize Dodgy was there. By the way, for some reason, whenever you guys see Dodgy, you guys really hit that, you really click on that video. I don't know why, but, I mean, I like, I like that Fox Lady as much as the next guy, but, you guys really end up enjoying some Dodgy action, that's for sure. I want to get her fully promoted, just for the hell of it. Because she is definitely one of the waifus of this game. Oh, no wonder I'm going slow, that's why. It's the, uh, formation. Who knows, maybe we'll get some dodgy action in the next video. I don't know how, but I'll, I'll make it happen. I, maybe I can make it happen. But I wanted, I wanted to get her fully promoted before I finish up doing Boris Rochi 3 Ultimate for good. Video-wise, that is. I'll probably come back and play from time to time. I still go back and play... Well, it, it's a little... Not as much, because I don't have... Because I don't have the PlayStation versions of them. But... It's going to be a longer video than, than I was expecting. But... I play 1 and 2 from time to time. I don't have Z, because I never ended up getting the... I just never ended up getting it. But... It looked, it looked pretty fun, and the graphics and everything looked great in that game as well. Not that I'm a big needer of graphics. But when, I, when they look decent or good, I'll be... I let it down. If they don't look great, I'm just like, whatever, the game's still fun. I'm not one of those gamers who will completely crap on it, just because, oh my god, the graphics look terrible! Now, if the game's fun, regardless of how it looks, you're gonna get good words from me. Hey, son. I'm gonna leave you be, because you're my son. Where am I? Oh, the Wu Zheng Plains. Was that not where I was last time at... I thought that was the... No, 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 it wasn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Was it G Ling or something like that? I can't remember what that la what the first stage was called, but... I thought it was the Wu Zheng Plains stage. Like, from, like, Dynasty Warriors 6 or something. Could be completely wrong on that, though. I don't even remember this stage. Yeah, I don't remember this stage at all. Well, I mean, I haven't explored the whole map yet. Once I look at the map as a whole, I'll be like, Oh, yeah! I remember now. What, did they ever use the Wuzhong planks in the main... Voice crack. In the main story? I think they did. I think they did in a DLC, but they never did in uh, the main story. Get out of here! It, or maybe in like an extra stage or something like that. I know they did it for like... They had like extra stages you could play that were still like part of the story in air quotes. I just got pelted in the face with a boulder. But... I don't know. I don't think they did use this stage. Aside from that one mission. Because I think it was like a strateg strategist mission or something like that with like... Zhuge Liang, Pan Tong, and Zhuge Liang, and I definitely remember the meat bun incident. So this is definitely so I know, but that was a DLC one, which was still one of my imposter, which is still one of my most favorite and uh, missions in this game. No, I'm I'm better than you. You can't do that, Chao Yun. I got this. I thought I said Gus. I was like, that's a name. That's a, that's a hell of a mystic name. Wait. Alright, now I got him. Oh, my team's dead! Oh, boy! Alright, alright. We gotta play safe now, because, uh... Like I said, Junkface is not my boy. He's not my strongest boy. 
If I do this. Oh, I'm going right into the fray. That was dumb. Where's, um... Is this just Yugaleong's main camp? I thought he had, like, an altar or something in these in these stages. Unless I'm thinking of another one. I think I'm thinking of five. I really liked five's uh, Wujung planes. But out of all of them, Dynasty Warriors 3 Wujung planes was definitely my favorite. I loved it. That stage was a thing of beauty. And the soundtrack they gave for both Wu... Or Wu, wow. For Wei and Shu. Oof. Loved it. Can get up the ladder, you fool! I was about to get Mitsuhide right up the butt. And he's like, oh, this is a nice ladder. Just admire you not climbing up it. Come on, man. Uh... Okay, there's a portal. Chest! I really don't need to be playing as... Yeah, I don't think, like, Zhongfei has anything in his weapon. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Yeah, okay, yeah. I knew Machao had something in his, so he's... I feel like he's... Rob, no, no, junk face stronger. I can tell from the attack stat on this weapon, and I haven't even like done anything great with it yet. I think I just, I think it's at a plus twenty on it, but a base of seventy five, so that's it's pretty strong. Oh, I didn't get the one in the base. Fool. Ah. Yeah, the Wujong planes was probably my. In Dynasty Warriors three was probably my favorite Wujong planes of all time. And then another another one that like I like sometimes comparing the stages. I think three's um, Heifei Castle was probably my next, or Hefei Castle was definitely my next favorite. Uh, and out of all the other ones, because so I think I th I'm trying to remember. I think five had Hefei Castle. I don't know if four did. I know they just had Hefei. And then eight did have it. Did seven? I think seven did as well. I can't. Like I said, I can't. Daji, the foxy waifu. Did you hear my voice like slightly start like getting higher? I lost all my manhood when I saw the waifu. This is why I'm not successful with women. But uh, let's go down here. I'm trying to think of what other stages were really fun. I was okay. I no, I don't think. Hulao Gates 3. Dynasty Warriors 3's Hulao Gate was my favorite. I kind of like 2's. 2's was pretty cool. Um, I think out of the Hulao Gates... I don't know. I don't know why. This is simplicity of 6's was pretty nice. And the fact that you could like... You, you had to use like... Like actual siege stuff in order to get to it was pretty cool. Now actually... This may, this may be unpopular opinion, but... I like the setup of Dynasty Warriors 9's Hulao Gate. That was more simplistic than, than um, what the hell's it called? Than sixes, but I don't know why. Like, I actually liked it a lot. It was really cool. There's one thing I do like, and even though it's at times extremely like boringly basic in terms of the mapping, like the the main places like Hulao and like the castles and everything, they are like really good in Dynasty Warriors Nine. So I'd have to say Dynasty Warriors 9, Sulao Gate, and Sishui Gate were probably my favorites. And... Let's see. What other state... Whatever very memorable stages were there. Oh! The Ultra Rebellions. Um, I'd have to say... 6 was too... Bleh. And it was a really small map. It was cool that I was out in the desert and all that, but... Nah. I'm trying to remember 4s. 4s was cool. It was probably up there in one of my favorites, but I don't think it was the favorite. Five, I didn't like, really. Um, what was seven? Sevens wasn't good, great for me either. And I'm not saying that the mission itself was bad. I'm just saying, like, the layout of the battlefield and everything, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, the design of all of it and all that. What was eights? Eights was pretty cool. I did, that was probably my, one of my least played, but the layout and everything was pretty cool. And then, I'd, so I'd have to say probably uh, it's between 2 and 3. 2 and 3 head was really cool. I can't really say anything about 9. 9 is hard for that fact because, like, the Elder Term Rebellion was, like, scattered all across the northern part of the map. So that one, that one one's pretty hard, and that seems kind of unfair because, like, you're, you're everywhere in 9. Did I seriously still not find these? Alright, let's use Getaway. Video's been going on long enough, and I uh, 
Really? It's the one place I missed? Get away from me. So yeah, I, I think I'd have to say... I think two's was probably my favorite. Three is, like, right behind it, though. Like, and it was... It, was, it wasn't also one of the biggest maps. It wasn't. But, I don't know. Like, something about those maps, and I guess, like, the way the missions were going and stuff. Please, please, please. Oh, at least it wasn't his grab moose, though. Go on you, please. Jeez, come on, man. Goodness. But yeah, I'd have to say that. What other ones were pretty good? I'm trying to remember just so I can... I'll do... I'll try to think of one more before I close out. Um, actually, while I'm doing this, I could probably think of the next team to do. Because I'd said, I, I said I'd give Dodgy, and I'm thinking I'm willing to deliver. I don't know why, but Dodgy's a likable person. But... I can't remember for, like, the life of me what other stages there were. I could probably mention them in the next video, but... Let me think. There was... What other memorable ones were there? Oh, Chibi, of course. Or Tribi. Whichever one. I'd say Chibi. But... Nines was horrible. Just gonna say that right now. That was not the naval battle I was hoping for in an open world game. That was horrible. And they could just fall off the ship, so that was pretty dull as well. Um... All the ones prior to six, no, seven and eights were pretty good too. But all the ones prior, like they were like huge, like ships that you just battled on. You only got like one little piece of land over here, a little bit on the other side of the map. Those were pretty cool. I'd have to say, damn, which one was my favorite though? Out of those, they were some of them at least from like three to three through five, or I actually can't remember two to save my life. But three through five, they kind of just were pretty much the same thing. But, I don't know, I guess, I'd have to say, the one I usually played the most was on 3, I'll say 3, 3 was pretty fun, Chibi's 3 was fun, alright, I'll put in the Foxy Waifu, I could just do a team of like all my Waifus, I'll probably do that, I could absolutely do that, alright. I'll show the team, and then we'll, we'll move on. Oh, I've got to put my girl Ina in there. I don't care what anyone says. I don't know why. I don't know, like... And I feel like it's possibly slow. Now, if Yinping was in here, she would definitely go, like, right in the middle. She will be in the next game, though. Uh, I'm trying to remember any others from Samurai Warriors. Oh, Konoichi. Duh. Love that little girl. You know what? I'll put, um... I'll put my strongest one in the middle. There we go. I think she is, yeah. Then Momoji. That's sad! She was my favorite to play as, and I have not... Like, Ina is higher. Like, out of all the waifus... Ooh. Do I have enough growth points? I could probably max her out. Let's see. I might not get the video if I can't max her out. Or I'll just risk it just so you all can see her, because, you know, we all like that dodgy waifu. But this is definitely the waifu team. I'm trying to think of who else I would even put on this team. Oh, I got her. All right, we're good. You get dodgy in the video. But, um, yeah, so this will be the next team. Oof. Let's, uh, do that. Do that. And we'll put the Mystic Bells on, because I love those little Mystic Bells. I probably don't need that much. I think I just did all this for the sake of her speed, because I think she's the fastest on this team. Yep, she is. Um... Yeah, so this will be the next thing we do. I lost track of what I was saying before, though. But uh, the fact that I'm upset that Wang Yi I only have promoted once because she is one of my absolute favorite all-time characters in the Warriors franchise. Kunoichi is definitely up there, of course, as you can tell, because I've spent a lot of time with her. Momoji is my favorite in least in Dead or Alive. Daji is my favorite in Warriors Orochi. Ina was my favorite at first because I didn't really like Kunoichi until 3. Yeah, because she wasn't even in 2. I liked her in 3 and 4 a lot. And then... Ina I liked from the very beginning. And like I said, if, if Yin Ping was here... Man! She'd be... I'd say... <laughs> bye, Kodoichi. And then i put, um... i definitely put Yin Ping up there. But I'm still disappointed about, um... I don't know if I just saved or not. Alright, but, yep. Oh, wait. Here we go. I'll end it with, the. Uh, with the dodgy action. There we go. There's your foxy waifu. Alright, 
so this will be the next team I do. I didn't. I, I know I said I was going to probably do like the other ge like generals and stuff, but now that I think about it, not everyone in Way is maxed out or at least 100 leveled, and I don't think a lot of them have their, at least a five star weapon. So that's going to be a little difficult, but I'll get them worked up. And so for now, I'm going to like do a little side thing off and do the waifu. Also, I think I want to at least do one video or jump back in and probably do a Warriors All Stars video because just for the fun of it, not to do anything like. Not to play through the whole thing, just to like do a video or two of it. I think it'd be fun. I missed that game. It was pretty. It was a silly kind of fun. It was definitely a breath of fresh air. But all right. So I hope you guys are just as hyped as I am for Warriors Orochi 4 coming out. It's only a month away for those of you in the area that I am in, in the North American area, and Japan. You're gonna get this in this month at the end of the month. So, hope you all are excited as I am for it. Maybe I'll talk about the gods and goddesses in the next video. I don't know. I didn't see a whole lot of clips of them because I don't like to be spoiled too much. I saw, like, what they look like and all that, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the waifu portion of Gauntlet Mode.